guys, it's Haf and today I am doing a collab with Geeks and Beauties using these wonderful items in a no bake challenge. This was Marshall's idea from Zany Laney. So I have a tray with little liners in it. These are they're like really, really super small. I am making fat bombs, which if you do keto, you know what I'm talking about. So first up I have this almond chia spread thing. You could use coconut butter instead. So I have some coconut oil. As you can see it's not quite warm enough for it to be liquidy. Um, shredded coconut. You could use desiccated if you wanted, but whatever. Um, I also... Oh, making a mess while I'm trying to do stuff. <laughs> um, I also have 85% cocoa dark chocolate. So the really good dark chocolate is what you need. Some vanilla extract and some peppermint essence. And um, that's for the chocolate. So we've got some dishes. We've got a big bowl and a whisk and a smaller bowl, some spoons, measuring utensils, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to take some of the coconut oil and I'm going to put it into the little bowl you can see there, little glass bowl, so that I can melt it in the microwave. Next I'm going to take this almond and chia spread um, you can just use plain almond butter, um, any kind of nut butter really. Um, if you're trying to keep your carbs low, obviously you're going to go with something more like an almond, um, maybe a Brazil nut, or use coconut butter to keep down the carbs in it. I'm basically using about half of this jar. It would be cheaper to just make my own, but... Uh, I don't. And we have our coconut oil now melted. I'm taking two tablespoons of the melted coconut oil going to leave the rest that I've got there for the chocolate and we are going to add some coconut. So I am going to add half a cup of shredded coconut to what I have here in the bowl. Then I'm just going to put in some vanilla essence, about a teaspoon. I don't really measure things. <laughs> kind of make it up as I go along, generally. So now I'm just going to mix all of this together in the bowl with the whisk. At first it really doesn't look like it's going to mix together because you think oh, there's not enough moisture in there, but it actually does. Um, it ends up kind of almost running. So that is basically it. It's all mixed together, well combined. Uh, tap the worst off of the whisk and then we are going to divide this between the 24 little pans that we have there using the two little spoons that you can see as well.
and I'm just giving them a little mix around make sure they're relatively even flattening them out a bit and once you've done that um, stick them into the freezer for a little while while you do the next step um, which is the melting of the chocolate Now into this bowl, which is microwave safe, I am putting in some the dark chocolate. Not the whole block, only half of it, like exactly half of it. And then I am going to add about two tablespoons of coconut oil to this as well. I hadn't quite melted enough, I had to add just a little bit more. And then this is going to go into the microwave to melt for a minute or so till it's all completely melted. Now once it's all melted, the chocolate and the coconut oil together, let's give it a mix around, make sure it's all well combined together. And then I'm going to add some peppermint essence, I put in about a teaspoon, you could probably put in less. One thing you will notice about this recipe is there are no actual sweeteners in it, I don't use sweeteners, if you wanted some extra sweetness. Um, you could use something like a stevia. Um, I personally don't like the taste of it, so I don't use it. My taste buds seem to find this quite easy to handle. Um, it is a little on the bitter side, but there is a little bit of sweetness from the almonds naturally anyway. So once this is all mixed together, I'm going to grab out my other part. So these have firmed up a little bit, they're not completely set, um, I find they don't get particularly hard even though I leave them in the fridge all the time, um, but you just put a bit of the chocolate on the top of it, um, normally I make them a lot neater for some reason, I think it was because they used shredded coconut this time, they weren't as smooth on the top as they are sometimes, they're a little bit sticking out, but basically just just divide your chocolate amongst the 24 pans. Then give them a bit of a shake around, get the chocolate to kind of not be quite so messy on top. Um, sometimes I just pull them out and spin them around. Not that it makes much difference, but if you want it to look nice then, you know, take the time to do this properly. So there you have your Chia Almond Choc Mint Fat Bombs for those of us who are on a low carb keto type of diet. So you just put them in the fridge and let them set up properly um, and then keep them in an air tight container and enjoy.